Hello Diecast fans and welcome to a brand new episode of Jim's magnificent miniature motor cars. I gotta be honest with you guys, I had planned on taking a sabbatical and I wasn't intending to unbox anything new for a couple of weeks at least. But lo and behold, I found this. I mean, I was hoping to find it, but I really wasn't expecting to find it. This is a Mini Champs 164th scale Porsche 911 GT3 992 edition in shark blue. Now, uh, those of you viewers who've been collecting 164th scale diecast cars for a while will know that this is a big deal because Mini Champs uh, was one of the bigger players in the premium 164th scale market. They had a stint in the 90s and they had a stint in the 2010s. And now they're back again with what looks like an amazing take on the Porsche 911 GT3, the current generation. So let's get to the unboxing. I mean, it's really as luck would have it that I even found this thing. I know that one of you re requested that I unbox the Mini GT version of this car. Well, it's not out yet, at least not in this part of the world. But I was really lucky to find this. So let us see what we have here. It looks magnificent. I'll just, I gotta say that. Beautiful. This is bound to the base by two screws rather than the traditional one. I guess you could say Mini Champs are very careful. I don't know. Okay. A bit of, took a bit of force to remove them, but. No problem otherwise. So let's have a look at this. So again, this is the Porsche 911 GT3 992 edition in shark blue. And well, why don't you see for yourselves what it looks like. Wonderful spinning wheels and notably a brake disc the inside. Okay, let's have a look at the real car so you can see how this compares. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, so just in case any of you are wondering, so this wonderful looking car, by the way, look at this detail on the rear wing. Look at these spoiler struts. Oh, they look magnificent. But again, to go back to what I was saying, in case any of you were wondering how much a car with this much detail costs, well, well, you, be you guys had better be sitting down because this was a $23 car. Yup, that's Tomica Limited Vintage Neo money. Okay, give or take. So this car was not cheap. It costs, it cost me about three times what the usual or what the average Mini GT costs. Is it three times the car that the best Mini GTs are? Hmm. I'm having a tough time answering that. It is a magnificent car, no doubt, okay? It, it, it's beautiful, it's got amazing levels of detail. And look at that, oh dang. And look at this, look at this brake assembly. There's no caliper, to be clear, but this, this disc rendering is just beautiful. And I'm really looking forward to eventually getting the Mini GT so I can do a proper head-to-head -head Right now, I just have this, and it is indeed beautiful. Oh my goodness. But the price though, the price for the price I paid, does this get a 10? 
notably, notably, there's even carbon fiber detailing on the roof. Oh my gosh. You know, I may live to regret this. Okay, I may yet live to regret this. But I gotta say, the only thing keeping this car from a perfect 10 is this considerable price tag. So I'm gonna have to give it, it's gonna have to settle for a 9.5 for me. It is, it's just beautiful. Yeah, but with a price like this, I, I don't know. I would have hoped for something a little extra, like maybe spring suspension, you know, the kind you get on Atomic Limited Vintage Neo or, you know, brake calipers. I mean, at, at this price, okay, at this price, tiny details count. Okay, it is a magnificent car, but for this price, one would hope for just a little bit extra. Anyway, like I said, it's still a 9.5. That's nothing to sneeze at, okay? And, well, welcome to this new batch of episodes. Like I said, I wasn't planning on starting again so soon, but this car kind of forced my hand, and it is just, it's really magnificent. So I hope you like this episode, and I hope you come back for more. And those of you who just got here, Please give me a like and subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell.